All right, people, now this concept is from the AI again. Sorry about that, but it's a very nice concept for John Wick. Yeah, this seems to be something like John Wick. Some people said it probably is uh, Doctor Strange. Many people say it's probably somebody else. It doesn't matter. We will say that it's John Wick and we don't care. And now we will try to do this in a very short amount of time with color and everything, which we'll see how it goes. Probably it will happen. I did it already a couple of times and we'll see. Because there are a couple of things that are difficult about this concept. For example, his head is slightly tilted forward, so we have to at some point tilt it. But I will tilt it when we have the overall shapes and forms of the head. I mean the nose and a little bit of the eyes probably, we'll see. Then we will tilt it. So, uh, in order to be a successful 3D artist, you have to be able to kind of decide when to do something, because if you do it before, then you may not be able to, for example, if I tilt the head now, before I did the nose and everything, uh, it will be very difficult for me to sculpt the other things, because I'm used to sculpt from forward view, from front view, and if the head is tilted, it will be something a little bit new for me, and I'll be in, in a bit of a trouble, but... Yeah, it will, it will take me more time to sculpt it. So, in order to save time, we will first sculpt, basic sculpt, with uh, this front, for frontal view, just normal position of the head, and then we will reposition the head. And that's true for many things that are uh, sculpt-wise rela related. We have to decide which action to do first. So, we see that his eyebrows are pretty much frowned so he's uh, kind of mad i guess mm, yeah and this is more interesting you know john wick is mad because his dog was killed and stuff he is always mad not always but he if you notice if you watch the movie he rarely smiles but he smiles i think i've seen him smile a couple of times but other than that he's pretty serious he takes his um, job very serious, which is okay. Okay, now I will symmetrize it. Symmetrize is always a good thing when you are reaching certain level of polygons, because usually in Blender, the things, even if you start from completely symmetrical sphere, which we do, uh, after a couple of subdivisions, they are not symmetrical anymore. Not completely symmetrical. They are close to symmetrical, but not quite. That's why we need to symmetrize in order to do it. By the way, uh, a few days ago, I bumped into a video where a guy is sculpting uh, this guy uh, that created Blender. Um, Ton, how was his name? I forgot, but uh, yeah, it, because it's a, it's a difficult name. But he sculpted his face. Very nice, very nicely done. Uh, of course, it was not real time because uh, it's it's cool, but it turns out this guy is Bulgarian. He is a colleague of mine from Gameloft, and yeah, he's done a very very nice job because he's a very good 3D artist. Yeah, his art station portfolio doesn't show his true uh, potential because I've seen what he can do. But yeah, we can check him out a little bit later if we have time because. Now we have to end this in one hour and a half. So we will try to be fast and furious, of course, as always. And I'm working fast. It's almost like I am uh, in a fast forward, you know, time lapse. But I'm not. Usually I'm not. N never am. <laughs> I'm never in a time lapse, actually. I don't do this kind of things. Time lapses are no not my thing. My trademark is exactly not time lapses, the non time lapsable thing. And talking while sculpting obviously is not exactly for everybody, but of course it's something that you can train. You have to sit in front of your computer and you have to 
talk and sculpt at the same time un until you feel comfortable to do it <laughs> yeah but it, you don't need to do it you know when if you want to be a successful 3d artist you don't need to speak while sculpting usually uh the the successful 3d artists that artists that i know they are just listening to some music or some podcast while sculpting they don't talk but i yeah yesterday this guy that that did uh hello nico hello relax relax everybody i'm here it's okay hello from armenia oh armenia is here <laughs> Why don't you create shorts for your long videos? You can showcase the key points to the short clip. Yeah, probably I can. I can. I probably will. At some point, we'll see. For now, I'm concentrated more on creating content than to, you know, creating YouTube content. Uh, yeah, I have to try to concentrate also on making my courses, but we'll see when this will come. Probably when I get back from Thailand, because, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to Thailand. I will be in Bangkok for a couple of days and then I go to one of the islands and stay there for the rest of the two weeks period, you know, uh, it will be interesting. As always, Thailand is amazing. Many, many people were making jokes about uh, travestites and stuff like this, but you know, I'm not going to Thailand uh, for that. But everybody has their own thoughts about it, I, I, I said that, uh, you know. When they say that, probably they have something in mind. But I'm going for the food, for the beaches, for the nice weather. That's my points of going to Thailand mostly. And of course, in Bangkok, there are very much nice things to look at, like uh, temples, pretty cool temples and places and the Chinatown and other things. Bangkok, by the way, is uh, said to be one of the most touristic cities in the world. We'll see, we'll see. I will tell you if, if it is when I get back from there. Now, the nose has to be a little bit longer. It needs to have this kind of a ridge. And before we put the hair and the beard, we will not be able to see the true scale of the character. Or in other words, we will not be able to say if the character starts to work or not he will start to work when we put everything together before that it's just a guesswork and even if i have a lot of experience which i have with characters since i was a character artist for more than 10 years and i have like 15 years in the game industry but even me it's difficult for me to say whether this will be nice or whether it's looking like the concept or not okay this now is a little bit more like it i think this position of the head is cool but we have to push it a little bit forward or not no i will leave it like this and i will fix the neck of course the neck has become jagged and twisted but we will fix it it's not a problem at all i have a lot of polygons right now and what i'm saying a lot of polygons when you have reach a certain level of polygons in blender e the the smooth brush is starting to be difficult to use which is uh, an issue obviously it's starting to be difficult to smooth but we're doing it now this looks relatively okay but of course as i said i've done this a couple of times already i've sculpted this yes I think three times before this and uh, each time before I put the hair and the beard I cannot say if it looks like the concept it's just like that we have to put this take Kurtu Chill Hachu Tibia 3D Detail oh what what 3D Detail yeah most kids are 3D by the way I noticed that I know I'm walking on the streets and I see kids and I kind of say okay are the kids 3d and I'm looking from this side and from this side and they look different they look 3d so most kids are 3d so yeah you don't have to say 3d kids you know that's what I'm saying because uh, it's they are 3d all of them 
no, probably not okay. I cannot say that all kids are 3D because I haven't seen all the kids. So I just can guess that most kids are 3D because I've seen many kids and I have never seen a 2D real kid. So let's say they all are. But if somebody has a proof that there are kids which are not 3D, came forward and we will discuss discuss your uh, position, we may say. All right, let's put some hair. This will be the hair, amazing hair, I would say. Okay, let's put some beard. This will be the beard. I would say uh, the best beard ever. And yeah, let's add symmetry. Okay, okay, I will uh, try to make it work. It takes time, of course, as always, but I think it's one of the fastest ways. The other way to make beard, for example, is to mask and then extract the mask, which is again, okay, but this works kind of okay for me. All right. All right now. Oh, okay, I'm a streamer. I stream my life away. No, uh, in my case, it will be I'm a streamer. I stream my sculpts away. Oh, yeah. Cause I'm a streamer who stream a better day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't work. Why? The nose has problems. And it has to be a little bit more like downish, like this probably. But of course, that's why we are putting the beard and the head in order to fix things. In order to see what works and what not. And let's, let's do this. Let's fix it. So his mustaches are like this, pushing here. Here we will have some thing like this mm, okay so the hair is uh, probably the most important thing because the hair now is giving us the most of the silhouette of the character so if there is no hair he will never look as good as the concept so now we will put the hair and it will become just amazing and everything will be fine very fast just moving things around and yeah he's starting to uh, get there the eyes maybe a little bit spread apart and this part of the hair is going back he will have of course longer hair which always changes the personality shorter hair longer hair they are absolutely different so we're doing this, then remeshing. Yeah, many people are asking in the comments, how do you remesh in Blender? And of course, this means that they haven't watched even like one sculpting course or tutorial even in, in, in uh, YouTube. That's why I usually don't answer because, you know, everybody knows that if you have spent a couple of hours. Uh, many people just look for ready answers without any effort. Which is okay, I am like this too, so it's fine. But it's not uh, very respectable for uh, for the people you are asking. You know, you are going to ask people who have spent a lot of time and effort into this, and you just want everything to come to you like ready, without effort, and not. This is not respect. And if you don't respect anybody, if you don't respect somebody they will definitely not respect you back so it's about everything is about respect not everything but many things are about respect as the respect is what we are craving in our whole life we are craving for respect from our parents first and then our friends and then we are craving for you know more respect from other people and yeah Cravings, respects. 
amazing stuff. Yeah, let's see some questions. I, I think we are getting there and it's looking relatively okay. Relatively, I'm saying because it's not okay, but we will flatten this a little bit and it will be a bit better. He now looks like uh, Jesus Christ, okay. Uh, 4060 Ti is trash, it's not, it's good, uh, it's a good video card. Yes, that will blow the view up on YouTube and that will, will be so good, I uh, will see. Henico, it's normal that I've been working on sculpting for about 3 months and I'm still not as good, at, not even close. I'm using mouse, 3 months is nothing if you are working for uh, like 2 hours every day and uh, I don't know, more time is needed. Здравейте, Нико, от както гледам до съм дъхна на работа, правя някакъв ще забравя на вържа на... Hello, Нико. This is... I will translate from Bulgaria. Simultaneous translation. Hello, Нико. Since I'm watching you, I am, uh, you know, very much um, pushed to work and to do some things with Blender. You have mentioned that you have uh, finished some university. Uh, did this university uh, help you or I will go to courses? So, the university helps in order uh, in this kind of a position that university when i was in university i learned 3d max and 3d max was my base for 3d as a whole so it's a good thing but these days uh, when i was doing that the internet was not so developed there was no youtube youtube was uh, created i think in 2005 if i'm not mistaken and i was in university until 2000 and five i think so uh yeah now you have youtube you have everything you don't quite need university of course if you want to live a couple of more years um on your mother and father's back which most people do uh yeah you can go to university and uh, they will pay for it but other than that i would suggest just to work and continuously develop yourself even at home but if you are not going into university you don't have to do some mandatory stuff which is kind of a boring and you don't care about and it will not help you definitely so you can concentrate only on sculpting you can concentrate only on character creations uv mapping texturing all those things that you need to know to be a character artist so you can spend like six seven hours every day just working on that and it will be fine it will help you definitely but of course if you want to go to university just to live like a couple more years as i said on your parents backs it's fine uh, it's also fine i mean uh, everybody was, is doing that i was doing that kind of but you know university is the way for you to kind of uh, see where you want to go and when I finished university, I wanted to be web designer. Yeah, to design web pages. But mostly the graphic part. To be the designer, not to write them or to, you know, to know PHP and other stuff. No, just to the graphic design of the web page. And I kind of got a work about that. And it was fine, but at some point i realize that probably i want to try to be a concept artist and it happened i went into game of uh, by the way this whole story is on my other channel and you can see the links in the description uh, for my courses for my other channel for everything so it i don't have to say it again but the idea here is my other channel is called just pitcher but the idea here is that these days today and this year it will be difficult for all 3d 2d artists all the game all the it industry as a whole even even programmers will have difficult time uh, because you see layoffs are everywhere every company from the it industry is uh, you know laying off people so releasing uh, people and now those people will start working start uh, looking for jobs the jobs offerings are much less now and those people are experienced and if there is opening for a job probably they will get it or somebody like this will get it of course if you are a beginner or if you're an intermediate artist who have never been in the industry but you have a good portfolio you have a chance 
but you don't if you don't have a good portfolio you will not have a chance nowadays when there is a search and hunger for uh, people who can kind of do characters even if they're not so good when there is a hunger for this then anybody can find a job but now it's not that time now it's the opposite now is dry uh, dry season we may say and it will be for a certain amount of time probably a couple of years i'm not sure exactly but i expect this dry season to end in about one and a half year now and but the it will be gradual ending it will not like mm, they will start hiring and they will hire everybody uh, at the same time no they will start hiring uh, very very easy uh, and they will stop laying off people they will stop um, firing people and they will start start hiring and this i think is this will be the beginning of the good times but now we are in the let's say not beginning but we are in the middle of bad times that just like this but you don't have to be you know sad or something because there are always good times and bad times in economics now we are not in the good times but good times will come except if nuclear war destroys us all but other than that nuclear <laughs> nuclear <laughs> good times should come at some point yeah sometimes i'm a, a little bit of a fatalist you know I say, ah, if we live to do this, if we something, because you never know, you never know what will happen. And that's the beauty of life. If you know everything, it will not be interesting. Now it's interesting, because you never know. Of course, for some people, I'm sure it's not very interesting to know, to not know. But you know, life. The only cool video scope Eminem in the Slim Shady some other day is we have to see it. Maybe, who knows. Did it make a model beforehand or, or not because the thumbnail shows a 3D model of the character. I just said a couple of minutes ago that I did this character already three times. So probably that's your answer. The thumbnail is one of those times that I sculpt this character. So yeah, definitely I've done it. That's why I'm so fast doing it and uh, relatively accurate of doing it because if i haven't done this character ever i would not be as accurate now you'll see how i will do the hole here it will be interesting let's try to do it oh no it doesn't okay let's okay a hole it is now yes good sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't okay this kind of a thing has to go forward and from the side view he will never look good I mean not now because we don't care we care only about the front view because that's that will be our render from the front view side views not so much and let me show you how he will be much more he will look much more like the concept like this and like this and he is looking now more like the concept a little bit more but yeah blender or zbrush it depends and uh, we have that discussion every time does a tablet make huge difference rather than a mouse for sculpting uh yes but you have to get used to it <clears throat> for the tablet nico or kratos i would say nico for me it is nico why bust every head? Because you don't have that much experience, most likely. The best marketplace to say sell Blender models. Um, I would say, I don't know. You know, selling models. Uh, for example, I always say selling models into our station is not a good idea, because our station is for artists, and selling models to people who are making models is not the best idea. Okay, uh, TurboSquid is uh, the place that you can sell models. But of course, the models that are most sold for, so the models that people are buying more, are the models which are with textures, they are low polys, with textures, with rigs, and ready to animate. 
even with materials. Those are the models who which sells the most. So if you just sculpt something uh, like this head, for example, that I'm doing now and try to sell it online, most likely it will not work. Or you will make one sale, which will be very, you know, chaotic, but you know, it will not work. People need something in order to give their money. They need something which is, um, you know, valuable and valuable is the model ready for game or movie or cinematic or whatever ready for animation even if it's with some animation even better but even if it's without animations if it has some rig it's it's fine it should be fine at least now the most hideous part will come i will leave the face for now it looks relatively fine maybe the nose can be a little bit longer and other stuff yeah let's make the nose a little bit longer i think this is that's making our model a bit bad all right and okay now he's looking a little bit sinister but it's cool it's cool let's make the neck not exactly the neck but the what was this called whatever sometimes I forget completely uh, things the color let's make the color not the color but the color you know some people will say what color no the color okay yeah and sometimes I'm making fun of uh, myself because it's it's interesting I'm making fool of myself even although if you look at me with this beard probably you will not make fool of me I look a little bit scary and I know that because today I was in the center of the city I was doing some stuff and uh, I noticed how people are looking at me they look at me and then they uh, look away you know so yeah people are scared from this guy me is this guy they're scared of me which is fine okay okay this is starting to work i'm noticing yes good good Let's put another plane, rotate it 90 degrees and put it forward here down. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry if I don't answer some questions or whatever, but I'm concentrated because we have only one hour left. So there is not much time, although it's almost ready. But the idea is that we don't have, no, it's not, it's not ready. We have to do uh, the, the suit. By the way, I'm watching suits right now i'm on the sixth season i think so yeah relatively well i'm watching it suits if you don't know is one of the most watched shows in netflix right now it's old i mean old old uh the last season was i think 2019 or 2018 not sure but the idea is that it's kind of old it's not super new but it's it's pretty cool it's like uh, relaxing and fun that's fine okay let's try to make this a little bit better looking in the back we don't care that much but still i will make a little bit of a thickness because i don't like it without thickness and flatten it this will be his suit Here I will put some couple of things and then with symmetry I will get it out on the open if we can okay we can good job okay this will be black and when we make it black it will be a little bit better looking okay good now it's starting to work kind of 
again if it's starting to work again if they are looking away they have so many views ah i don't know maybe because um all the people who are viewing now who are watching this now they are not um close to me all of you you are very safe in your houses in your uh in front of your computers or or phones or tablets or whatever but those guys those people who are seeing me on the streets they are in front of me they have to face this uh, life you know in front of them so probably it's it's a normal kind of a human feeling to be afraid fear of the dark now i will mask be afraid masking is coming masking here masking here and masking down here like this this will be our mask and what we will do with the mask is very interesting we will extract it and now this will be our white thing so uh, our shirt this will be the shirt and you say but nico this shirt is very strange who has a shirt which is not even like uh i mean like a tank top or whatever it's super super funny yes it is but bear with me we'll fix it because after the shirt we will make the other thing <laughs> the other thing what is the other thing see how he looks without the beard and the and stuff it's it's hideous he's hideous but you know that's why we are doing the beard and the hair because otherwise we will never be able to make him look like the concept now this we don't need all right a little bit more and we are ready for extraction sir <clears throat> okay we are ready for extraction so let's do it max extract again this will be the suit and <clears throat> we'll inflate it smooth it in the middle and now how to do the color of the suit which is kind of going outward we can do it two ways we can do it as a separate object or we can do it in the same object so usually i do it from the same object but this time I want to do it as a separate object to see how it will go. So, to do it as a separate object, we will get a plane. Put it here. Uh, okay, let's show everything. Put the plane here and start working. It will take a little bit more time, I think, this way. But it will be more flexible. If we do it from this mesh, it will not be as flexible. That's why... I'm doing it like this. We'll see how it goes. Like this. Extrude, extrude, extrude. And here we will go. Let me see. Mm -hmm. This one will go like this. And this one will go a little bit like this. And I'm trying to keep this closer to his suit but not inside because inside would be not appropriate that much it will not look good at least this scale it down push it here rotate it a little bit extrude and here we don't care we just put it like this and then we move it of course it would be nice to do a mirror and then to do a solidify modifier which would be appropriate like this to have thickness now we have it and we can just adjust it it's very much easier to adjust it like this instead of doing it from the mesh now select everything extrude in yes good now we have to fix this. I don't know if I can, but we'll see. Now, F, yes, F it's working. So we are good. F is uh, from the F2 add-on. If you have it on, I have it on, obviously. 
you have to just turn it on from add-ons and you will be able to do this but i explained all of this in my you know, course about a game character that i did in my other youtube channel link in the description of this video if somebody don't know there are many new people to this channel by the way i see that in the analytics many many new people the old people are kind of i don't know going away and new people are coming to the channel i don't know why the old people are going away but i guess it's because of the beard yeah the beard is scaring the people uh, off but some people are not that easily scared so you are here and i am recognizing that and i say good okay good looking now i think we have to fix this let's see if we can all right like this and like this and then with a little bit of push we will fix it all right uh, then we will need to do a little bit of thing here so this control this extrude scale in and move it in i think this is better and of course we will do a subdivision surface for the for the color because the color is important it's an important part of the character and no uh, i will say it in a more english accent it's an important part of the character so i can i can sometimes be more without accent but what will be interesting you know i'm from the new people and i like your beard thank you very much the beard by the way the beard is going away today maybe in this stream we'll see maybe in this stream why not we already did a stream when i uh you know er erased my beard but i don't want to go to thailand with a beard you know it's it's stupid it's not good but why you will ask i will tell you why because it's very hot and it will not be very comfortable for me to be with the beard there that's why we will get it out we will take it away the beard shift e okay good it looks relatively fine almost like the concept i think already uh, but yeah let's see the concept and compare it yeah, but it's, it's not exactly there are things that should be done for example here we need to push this a little bit more upward and closer to the skull and then here we need a little bit more hair like this and i know that because i've watched this concept for a long time and as i always say so open your ears now it's very important what i would say right now when you are sculpting something from a concept, which I always recommend, instead of sculpting from nothing, sculpt from a concept. Some people are just sculpting and don't know what they're doing and they're trying to do something and it doesn't work. Always sculpt from a concept, especially always sculpt from a good concept, if you can find one. And usually you can, just open our station, there are a lot of concepts. But the idea is that uh, when you're working from a concept, look at the concept as much as possible the most common mistakes when uh, the mo most common mistake people are doing is not looking not spending enough time to look at the concept they are just looking at a little bit and they think they understand it but it's it's not like this you cannot understand the concept by looking at it uh few, for a few seconds every every five minutes for example you have to watch it and look at it constantly some people are saying you have to look at the concept as much as you look at a model which is i don't know i don't know about that but still just look at it more look at your concept especially if you don't have enough experience working from a concept it's very much uh, completely necessary to look at the concept more 
and compare. Compare your concept, do it the same way, put it at the same position as the concept, your model and the concept, and start comparing the hair, the silhouette overall, this in the back here that we have the sharp things. Compare everything until you do it. That's my uh, advice for all people. Comparison. Sculpt yourself without any reference. No, this is not a challenge. This is stupid. Sculpting, as I said, is, is done with a reference. If you try to sculpt without reference, usually you will fail. And uh, you will fail miserably. That's the problem. You will not only fail, it will be miserable. That's why uh, I can sculpt without the concept some things. But if I want to, something to be nice and good looking, I would use a concept. Definitely would use. And I am, usually. In my courses, I don't uh, just do a course from nothing, although I did uh, back in the days. But the idea is that I'm an experienced artist. And if you are an experienced artist too, you can kind of get away from, you know, with doing things without concept. But even I, when I have to do something, for example, I had to do a course for Victory 3D and it has to be a kind of a biomechanical lizard or whatever. So I started doing concepts by myself. I was concepting and I kind of did something which I liked and it was a concept of a, of a crocodile with biomechanical stuff. And yes, I said, okay, this is the concept. So, I, I can start doing it. Uh, if you are starting starting doing it without the concept, it's much, much more difficult. And uh, it usually will ruin your life forever. I'm joking. Maybe just for a couple of days. But it will ruin you. For a couple of days. By the way, I'm noticing sometimes on this concept that his head is tilted slightly to his right but very slightly tilted if you notice that and if we do that it will be slightly better looking but i don't know if we will have time probably we will but we'll see here we have those things here we will disable the symmetry and those things like this so it's more interesting because with symmetry especially in the middle it doesn't look good so in the middle at least try to kind of desymmetrize your model <clears throat> okay a little bit of questions because we have to let me just draw uh make this back red this in the back to be red and we will do some some questions which means questions if somebody doesn't understand my amazing english now uh this this color particular i don't like so let's try to make it uh, a little bit darker probably the saturation can be a little bit yeah and i wanted to have a different hue so i'm moving this is a little bit better, I think. Yeah, I like this better. Okay. Yeah, he's looking like the concept, I would say, very much. So it's cool. We'll have to cut a little bit more here, those things, and pinch them. This one too. And here we'll cut a little bit. It's happening. It's happening. Uh, it, it will be for one hour, I guess, this because we are too fast. But we'll see. Let's uh, answer some questions. <clears throat> Where is the course for arms coming out? Probably March. PureF needs to be your best friend when it comes to concept art. Yes. Thank you. Nico is uh, 80 hours on the scope too much. 
no it's not too much you can uh, spend 100 hours and it's still not too much if you can handle it mentally can you make a character in the style of fun final fantasy 7 characters probably i can i don't know <clears throat> when is the course for arms coming out okay hey nico how topology going on change if a character made for printing what is the topology features for printing you can print your high poly it's not a topology thing it uh, for printing you just have to see if you have bumps if you have uh, non-clean geometry and if it's visible if it shows other than that it's fine if it shows it will show probably in the 3d print which you most likely don't want but if you want i cannot say anything if you want it it's fine he has bags under his eyes a little bit like this Baggins. He is a Biblo Baggins because he has bags under his eyes. Yeah, the joke. Again. As always. The best jokes are from Nico. Remember that. Come on, I cannot. Okay, this is the thing that he's uh, having in his mouth. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's something like this. And then it has thickness so we will generate thickness with the solidify modifier a little bit more like let's say like this uh, <clears throat> apply the thickness and then we will position it mm -hmm. and then position it like that like that and i have to color the face too and we will see what else we might want to do but overall we are in a good shape for uh, 47 minutes right now 47 minutes we are in a good place <coughs> we might say now let's color a little bit and see what will happen this is not a good color for this but i'll take it <coughs> Okay, ears and stuff. Now let's take a little bit like this color and put here and there. Yeah, we have to be careful with these colors, but I'm not that careful. A little bit more lively he will look when I put this uh, reddish tint. And here I will just darken a little bit because it's you know, I will fake a little bit of lighting here and there. With darkening around the nose too, here and here. I know people are saying, but you're faking it, Nico. Why? We we trusted you. You're faking it. But, but I'm showing you that I'm faking it. So I think it's fine. It should be fine. You know, the, the main thing is the... End result. The end result is important. If you are doing just this just for render from a front view, it's completely fine to do whatever. He's looking down somehow. I don't know why. He's looking down on us. Hmm. I don't like him. There are issues that we need to fix. And we need to fix them now. This was a hole here and now it's not. Ah, it's hole. So if it's a hole, it has to be a visible hole. So let's try to make it more visible. living in a hole so it doesn't look like the concept as we can see but the concept also doesn't look like the concept no <laughs> probably Probably the concept is looking like the concept. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe with some 
uh, color it will be better but it's not mandatory sometimes not the color the lighting <clears throat> but sometimes the lighting is making it worse so I'm not saying that the lighting will make it better I'm just suggesting it I'm just suggesting it a little bit it could make it worse Okay, a little bit more color, color on the nose will be better, but let's see if we can do this with saturation, more saturation, uh, it's, I don't think uh, too much saturation will be nice, but we'll see. And we can add some white spot here because the concept has it, so we, we add it, it's fine. He doesn't have arms. So the problem here is it depends on how we show it, but arms are good to have. So let me just model a little bit some arms, just the basic shape of the top of the arm so we can have it i think it would be better but we'll see it's all about seeing so if it doesn't work i'll just delete them it's easy so nothing to worry about don't worry be happy I don't know where be happy. I don't know where be happy. I don't know where be happy. Don't worry. How many times do you sculpt today? This is my first sculpt for today because I didn't warm up today exactly. So this is my first sculpt for today. Sometimes I warm up, sometimes I don't. Before stream, I usually do, but today I, I didn't have time. I was in the center of the city, I was doing some work. And now I have to you know, do it without warming up exactly. That's why I don't feel it's, it's necessarily the best that I can do, but it's relatively fine. Let's see this and this and push it down. Uh, when I'm doing my courses, the best thing is that I can do something today and then I will look at it the next day and I will see my mistakes because when you get your eyes off your sculpt, it's easier to see your mistakes. When you're doing this, sculpting like this very fast just for one hour or hour and a half or whatever we haven't reached an hour reached an hour yet so yeah when you're doing this it's far more difficult to notice your mistakes or mistakes or mistakes so let's put some lightning now how to do it let's go to this this is our render and I will put some light, which will be sunlight. Why not sun? But this sunlight, we need to select it. We need to move it here so we can select it easier, maybe around this area and just do this. Probably a little bit. Yeah, like this, it's fine. It's fine and uh, color what we have to add the material and then color attribute and then select everything and control l i cannot control l and link materials not link animation that the link materials come on i will do it with the mouse all right this looks relatively but we want more contrast so we go to uh by the way we don't have ambient occlusion we need it i will increase and this we have ambient occlusion right now 
and it's not as sharp as it has to be. So in order to be sharp, we go to this light, sunlight, and contact shadows. It's nice to have. Maybe we can decrease it or increase it. Yeah, increase it a little bit. Then, important, we go to the bottom of uh, this thing here. And instead of instead of none, we go to high contrast. High contrast is too much. Medium contrast is relatively fine. Okay, medium contrast we have. Now, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, we can go to here and the strength of the overall thing, which is our uh, HDR. The strength of the HDR, we can dial it down. Okay. It does look a little bit like the concept, but uh, there is there are things that doesn't look like the concept, which I am, you know, a little bit not happy. The idea is that uh, when we're working with Blender, uh, this is the difference between Blender and ZBrush actually, is that we can uh, use our real lights and do whatever we want. In Blender, it's in, in ZBrush it's difficult. Of course, in order to do that, it's good to have a nice video card because it kind of uses it. And especially it's nice to not be streaming at the moment because when you are, it usually is sometimes it's problematic to stream and uh, yeah do this at the same time and sculpt stream and sculpt at the same time is not exactly good but it works so we need more reddish how can we do that we can add a red light another red light we can add uh, probably not. This one should be white. So let's try to do it. Okay, this one too. Okay, something else? No. The arms are amazing, as you can see. It has super nice arms, but we don't care. We are looking at it, at it like this. And it should be fine. Those arms are the best. He probably had put his arms into his pockets or something like this, so it's relatively okay. Here we can add some uh, folds, like this, like this. It's not mandatory to add them, of course, but we can if we want. Let's see some questions because I'm a little bit okay with it already. We can just leave it if we want. It doesn't look particularly like the concept, but it looks relatively fine. I'm mm, almost never happy with my results though, which is fine. You shouldn't be super happy about real results because because we are crap, you know, we, we cannot do stuff. Maybe we can do it like this. No, like this. Yeah, more artistic. But the lighting from the concept is a little bit impossible. As you can see. Well, yeah. <clears throat> we will show Discord channel and entries. Yes, I will. Some more angular sharp lines in the hair, probably. Yes, probably, but let me just um, make sure the hair is not that dark of a color with uh, the brightness. Should be a little bit brighter, yes. The beard also. Good. Sharp lines here and there we can add. 
Let me just watch. Yeah, there are things that can be better, but uh, they will require more uh, time, more time, much more time to improve a few little details here and there, and it will be more close to the concept. But, uh, yeah, you know, the feeling of the concept is a little bit better, in my opinion, than of the model. <coughs> As a freelance artist trying to find work, where is the best place? Shade smooth. Where is the best place to find work? The best place to find work is our station, as I always say, in my opinion, of course. This is not uh, something that you have to, you know, to be sure, but uh, it's it's our station usually. And of course, as a freelancer, you have to be good enough in order to get work. Otherwise, you will not. And as I said, these days, the freelance is very scarce. There are not too many freelance opportunities these days, and there will not be until, let's say, middle of 2005, 2025. In the middle of 2025, I am expecting for the things to get a little bit better. But for now, yeah, I'm hearing from other artists too that there are no no freelance it's not there is no freelance even for experienced people kind of it's difficult to find freelance these days so just my advice is yes you can apply for jobs you can do this kind of stuff but spend the majority of your time uh you know learning and advancing your skills because when the jobs are starting to come back when the freelance is starting to come back then People who are good at this, they will get it, not the the other people, you know. So, yeah, just get better. His forehead has a lot of shadow in our concept and in, the, in our model. In the concept it doesn't, so yeah, I don't know. scale this because this is the white background <laughs> that we will have and we will color this white the back how to color this white we will go here go to fill and fill it with whitish and this will make it look a little bit more like the concept but still not completely but i think for now it should be enough this is one hour okay and uh, now we'll go to the R st uh, to the R station, no, to the Discord, and see what people have done in the Discord server. Link in the description of the video, of course. Uh, we are more than five thousand members in the Discord already. Five thousand. So let's go up until I uh, okay. I pinned the message, by the way. Okay. Let's go to it. Jump. Come on. Okay. It took uh, a little bit of time to jump into it. So, uh, in Saturday, I um, I make this the announcement of the weekly challenge. This was the concept. People say, okay, some people are crying. Five people are crying. You know, those people, shame, shame for them. Okay. And uh, the people are starting to post. This is my first try. It's, uh, let's see it. Yeah, not bad. We have another concept, which is the second concept. Some people are asking, because they have already done this, to do another one. But I, I haven't seen them doing it, whatever. So, this is another, this is another. So, uh, around, let's say, 20 or 30 people have participated already. This is, again, me. This is another one I did. Those are uh, another things. But the idea is here is, you see... It's not an easy concept to do, as you can see. It's not easy at all. This is probably the most difficult uh, weekly challenge so far, in my opinion. <coughs> in my humble opinion. This one looks like a Mexican a John Wick. This one is okay. This one is looking 
all, all relatively fine good and here I did something with a program named uh, this is a web uh, it's called viscom and when you go to viscom you make registration and then you can post an image and I posted my render and then I uh, kind of uh, tweaked it so it kind of makes the suit realistic and the shirt and the hair is kind of more realistic the face I just changed it with Photoshop because it was something like this and <laughs> it made it the overall more realistic it's an interesting program yeah? uh, or application or whatever you can call it it's yeah this one is also from this uh, kind of a program but it's yeah you have a slider and uh, if you want it to be more like your image or your render you go uh, the slider you make it like 100 percent or 95 percent this is the slider was around 95 or 100 percent so it's much closer to the real image it doesn't make a completely different hair or whatever or completely realistic one others we have this one looking good although the render eh, you know, a little bit flat but still and we have more oh this one is like a lot of detail but you know a lot of detail doesn't mean a good thing you know sometimes a lot of detail means chaotic and not good looking model sometimes i'm not saying every time but you have to be careful with the detail this one is uh people said that it looks like me it's actually looking like me hmm yeah it, this is a little bit of a dark render so if i do this it will be more like this one has a uh, good detail but the face itself is too wide as you can see other than that the details and everything is fine but we need more chin you know bigger chin and narrower face and this could be nicer we have okay good again the mexican uh, john wick a lot of people yeah this is with uh, lollipop pretty cool i like it with the lollipop is nice we have even a front uh, view i mean the, the side view is looking great of this guy with the lollipop it's nice with the hair and everything it's it's better than mine but probably yeah uh, if i put enough time probably it will be better but i have to be fast you know? i cannot do it slow this one is cool also it has arms good and this one is the last one which doesn't look bad at all i mean the the mouth is looking nice it, it, it doesn't look like the concept but that much but it's relatively fine yeah our concept also it doesn't look like the concept our model so let me just fix a little bit so i will dial this down Yeah, the mouth was a part of the problem but overall the face needs to be a little bit more reddish so uh we can add we can add red and add to feel a little bit more reddish uh, relatively fine but there is more i there are more things that i just cannot see you know now I will be able to see it after probably a few hours but now i cannot see it even i just can see that it's not as good as the concept that's what i'm seeing uh, which is always a bad thing you see that something is wrong you cannot say what it is and many people think that when you are an experienced artist you will be able to see what's wrong yes most of the time you will be able to but sometimes even you need time you need like stay away from the model for a couple of hours then come back to it and you will see what the hell is wrong with it hopefully nico how better do clothes for a model and 3d printing i don't know uh, what is this question how better do clothes for i don't know 
yeah, uh, try to formulate your questions like um, better so I can understand them. Because Nico is getting stupider and he cannot understand all the questions sometimes. <clears throat> I wish I had my laptop working. Yeah, me too. The forehead is thin and the lighting is too soft. Yeah, the lighting is soft, but we cannot make it too harsh, I guess. And the forehead is thin. The forehead is thin. It has to be a little bit thicker. A little bit wider, you mean. Yeah, we can make it a little bit wider. The forehead. And this thing. The eyes. And the eyebrows should be a little bit thicker, I think. So let's make them thicker. Okay. Yeah, it's too much. I mean, sometimes it's a little bit too much. But overall, not bad there. Okay. Mm. Hi Nico, thank you for everything you do. You inspired me to start sculpting. I need your advice. When I should start trying to sculpt real people? I failed when I started trying with the second model. Yeah, maybe for your uh, like uh, 500 model you can start real people. <laughs> no, you can always start real people, but you cannot expect to to do them well, you know, in the beginning. You need years of practice or at least thousands of hours. So you can, if you can get thousands of hours in a couple of months, months, it's okay. But still, years of practice is better. The guy is looking at the floor on the concept, he's looking at you. Maybe. Is it worth to study sculpting with traditional clay? It looks very fun. Yes, I also think traditional clay is uh, fun, but I haven't tried it too much. Maybe someday I will. Yeah, this is the next step, you know. When you are uh, better, you get better and better, you start to do it. And maybe we can do a little bit of uh, things. Let's try that. I don't know. <clears throat> Not quite. But it's working. It's it's working. There are a lot of things that can be better, but they're not. Why? Because it's a one hour sculpt. One and a half hour, let's say. But it's less than one and a half, obviously. Because now we are at one minute, a uh, one hour and, and 13 minutes. And we are done for a long time already. I've shown you some other stuff and it's, it's cool. Okay, <clears throat> so I think this will be it. What was that? Something came up and I don't know what exactly, but it doesn't matter. Let's fix a little bit the forehead because the forehead has issues. He's not as frowned as it should be. And the color, uh, the overall color is not the color that we want completely. But I think we will get used to it. Yeah, I'm uh, silent because I just concentrate. Uh, usually when I'm doing something, when I'm sculpting, I don't concentrate that much on the sculpting because I can sculpt without concentrating too much. It's not a big deal for me. But sometimes, at the end, 
when we need uh, to finish it, to refine it, we need more concentration. It's fine. I, I would, I would say it's uh, it's okay. All right, guys. Let's see your uh, questions for the last time. Shadow on the wall. Dun, 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 dun. Shadow on the wall. There's a song. The guy's looking at the Okay. Is it worth to study? Yes. Thank you, man. Uh, how good does texturing work in Blender or do you tend to go Substance Painter? Always Substance Painter for me. Yeah. The brief can rather haunt me to answer to you. Too yellow. Yeah, it, he's a little bit too yellow, actually. Actually, he is a little bit too yellow. Let's do them. Let's do them. Let's do it a little bit not too yellow. So hue saturation. Let's try saturation. And this is another. And this is more reddish. A little bit too red now. But we'll see. Oh no, this is saturation. No, I don't want saturation. I want the hue. So blue is nice if we want it to be blue. Maybe like this. But there are a couple of things which are a little bit too purple. But I don't care. This is better. A little bit better. And this one should be thinner. And those things shouldn't be that purple a little bit purple yes not too purple and also not deep purple yeah deep purple is okay so let let them be deep purple but not too purple just deep purple i like deep purple by the way it's a pretty nice band let's see him wow okay good 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 Goodbye, blue sky. A goodbye, blue sky. Goodbye. Dun, 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 dun. Goodbye. Dun, 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 dun. We say it's good. Can you help me be better in sculpting? Yes, I have a lot of courses, so check them out. You need to pull his right shoulder back, right shoulder forward. All, all the shoulders back and forward, right? Okay, good. And twist his head to face forward and then tilt it slightly to the left. Good, good. Everybody has their opinions, you know, it's nice. Uh, Nico, your last stream you told me to walk more and I would lose weight. I went on three walks since and I have gained three kilograms. Yeah, maybe you should eat a little bit less also, but I don't know. This is just my opinion. And also push-ups I told you to do, not only walking. Pull-ups, by the way, is the best exercise. Why? Pull-ups on a bar. Because your body, when you do pull-ups and you try to do pull-ups, your body says, okay, he's trying to pull himself. And he's trying to pull himself every day. So we have to lose weight in order to be helpful for the pull-up. That's why pull-up is better. You know, pull-ups. Can you do quagmire from... Uh, uh, yeah, from Family Guy. Could be. Can you show UVs? Do you have them? No, <laughs> I don't have them. Okay, guys. Thank you very much and see you in the next stream. This one was uh, difficult, but still a cool one. Let's see again where we are. Ah, it's here and there. It's fine. For uh, an hour and something, it's cool. So, bye. See you after like 20 days, probably around that. Yeah, a long time, but still we have to. So peace and